Hello everyone, my name is Harish Garg. Welcome to Advanced Techniques for Exploring Datasets with Pandas by Pact Publishing. I have more than 17 years of software industry experience in wide variety of roles. Currently, I am a data scientist and a data science instructor and author. Pandas is the most popular and widely used data analysis Python library. In this course, you will learn advanced data analysis and visualization techniques with Pandas. To follow along this course, you will need a Mac, Linux or a Windows computer. To follow the code demos in this course, you should be familiar with Python. A basic knowledge of Python is sufficient to follow the code from this course. You should have at least basic understanding of command line on the computer you are using. And you should have the Anaconda Data Science Python distribution installed. In section 1, you will learn how to work with different kinds of dataset formats in Pandas. You will learn how to use the advanced options provided by Pandas while importing CSV files. You will also see how to work with the Excel files in Pandas and how to use advanced options of the read Excel method. You will also explore some of the other Pandas methods for working with other popular data formats like HTML, JSON, pickle files, SQL, etc. In section 2, you will learn about advanced techniques of data selection with Pandas. You will learn about how to select a subset of data. You will learn about how to select multiple rows and columns from a data set. You will learn how to do sorting on a Pandas data frame or a series. You will walk through how to filter rows of a Pandas data frame. You will also learn how to apply multiple filters to a Pandas data frame. You will see how to use the access parameter in Pandas. You will see the uses of string methods in Pandas. And you will learn about how to change the data type of a Pandas series. In section 3, you will learn about advanced data manipulation and reshaping techniques. You will learn how to modify a Pandas data frame using in place parameter. You will learn the scenarios where you can use group by method. You will see how to handle missing values in Pandas. And you will explore indexing in Pandas data frames. You will also learn how to rename and remove columns in a Pandas data frame. You will learn about how to work with and transform dates and times data. You will learn how to handle setting with copy warning. You will see how to apply a function to a Pandas series or data frame. And you will also learn how to merge and concatenate multiple data frames into one. In section 4, you will learn about advanced techniques of data visualization using Seaborn Data Visualization Library. You will learn how to get started with Seaborn. You will explore Seaborn's features like controlling plot aesthetics, choosing the colors for the plots, etc. You will learn how to draw few different kinds of plots. You will learn how to plot categorical data with Seaborn. And you will learn how to create plots with data aware grids. By the end of this course, you will have gained advanced skills for data analysis and visualization using Pandas. You will have learned how to work with different kinds of dataset formats in Pandas. You will have enough familiarity with advanced techniques of data selection with Pandas. You will also be equipped with advanced data manipulation and reshaping techniques. And you will also have learned about advanced techniques of data visualization using Seaborn data visualization library. I hope that you enjoy this course. With the basics out of the way, we can jump right in and get started with our first section. Before we dive right in, it's worth noting in mind that you will get the most value out of this course by pacing yourself appropriately. In particular, setting aside the time to work through questions and examples. Everything we include has a purpose and will help you build the skills that you need to stay relevant in the real world. 